Ultra Ravens, uh, what happened? Uh, how to lose to New York Giants? Uh. The New York Giants. Are they legit? Are they frauds? I don't know, but what I didn't know is that they're 5 and 1, and we need to talk about this, because this is literal madness. The New York Giants didn't beat the Ravens. The Ravens beat themselves. But through the past weeks, we cannot deny that the Giants have literally found ways to win. This is their third time coming back from a double digit deficit and winning the game. They're 5 and 1, and they're second in the NFC East. At this point, it's confirmed that they're back. And what you might not notice is that the Giants could run the table, get 10 wins, make the playoffs, even go on a run. Like an Eli-type Super Bowl beat Tom Brady run. As you can see the schedule right now, you cannot tell me that right now the New York Giants cannot beat Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars. You cannot tell me that they cannot beat the Lions. You cannot tell me that they cannot beat the Texans. You cannot tell me that they can't beat the Commanders. And even though they already lost against Dallas, I'm pretty sure that with a will, there is a way they will somehow beat Dallas if the chance arises. The Giants can do this. This is straight 10 wins right there. 10 wins even before they get to the back half, which is always in the NFC East. It's just loaded with divisional games. Do I think they're going to beat Philly? No. Do I think they're going to beat the Commanders twice? Yes. There's also a game against the Colts in the back half. The Colts suck too. The Colts have literally regressed from previous years to this year because of their blatant reluctance to get a QB. The Giants can run the table. We're looking at t 10 minimum wins and at max maybe 13. You cannot tell me that the Giants do not have a chance to make the playoffs. The Giants are legit. They literally have everything that they need to make the playoffs. They have everything to beat a playoff team, and they have everything to make a run. In January, you need a good run game. You need a game manager QB. You need a good defense. The Giants have all of that, and an energizing head coach. This gives me straight vibes from like 2000 to 2012, where just wildcard teams, if you are a wildcard team, you might as well also be a Super Bowl lock. Now, if you're a wild card team, it's like, eh, I don't know if you might make the playoffs. You might win one game. No, this team can make the Super Bowl. They literally have the chance. Look at the NFC right now. The NFC right now is so weak. It is blatantly theirs for the tanking. It's either Philadelphia or the Giants. It's nobody else's because no one else wants the NFC East right now. Even though it's six weeks in and this is a big over-exaggeration, the NFC is literally all for taking. And right now, Philadelphia is taking it and the Giants are right behind them. Like Barry McCocker, not respecting the New York Giants. But damn it, I will. As a person who has literally watched their team lose to the New York Giants firsthand in the most painful way possible, it's time to respect the New York Giants. It's time to respect the New York football Giants as they are now a contender and a playoff team because of the spirit of Eli Manning and Vanilla Vic going to lead them to the Super Bowl. Good day, gentlemen.